Monkeypox cases are rising across the country with more than 6,000 infections now confirmed in the United States. Moderna is considering creating a monkeypox vaccine with their mRNA technology as demand for the shots grow. I want to bring an infectious disease specialist at NYU's Langone Health, Dr. Robert Pitts, for more on this. Uh, Dr. Pitts, thanks for, be thanks for being here. You know, you, I know you've treated patients with monkeypox, so what can you share about your firsthand experience with this virus? Uh, well, thank you so much, Diane, for uh, for inviting me here. Uh, so I'll, I'll start with saying that as an infectious disease doctor, I'm learning as I go. Just a couple months ago, I'd never personally taken care of a monkeypox patient. Uh, that changed rapidly over the last couple months. And so, you know, every day I'm learning more and more about monkeypox and how we can stand up testing for patients who need testing, as well as linking those patients for treatment. Now, not everyone is eligible for the existing monkeypox vaccine. So how are you advising your patients to prevent infection? Yeah, so, you know, I'm telling my patients that, you know, um, monkeypox is best transmitted person to person, sustained intimate contact, okay? So I wanna highlight the word intimate because we can't get, the, the chances of getting monkeypox by walking past someone casually on the streets or on the subway or sitting next to someone on the airplane, that risk is very minimal. The risk for monkeypox or getting monkeypox is elevated when you have sustained intimate contact with someone who has monkeypox. And for example, uh, that would include kissing, hugging, having sex, or sharing clothing, okay? So that's really, it has to be sustained intimate contact. So if we can prevent that sort of contact with people that we don't know for the time being, that will minimize your risk of getting monkeypox. But you take issue with calling this an STI. Why is that? You know, I, I want to be very clear that um, we have to be very careful the way we, the, the labels that we put on monkeypox and the way we talk about it. Labeling monkeypox as a sexually transmitted infection or labeling it as um, an infection that is hitting a particular community very hard is stigmatizing and can create shame. And both stigma and shame can be barriers for patients who need care to access the care that they need. So I really wanna focus on you know, creating robust infrastructure for testing, treatment, as well as vaccination, because that's the way we need to respond to this public health crisis. And, and we're now starting to see some cases pop up in kids here in the U.S. So should parents be worried and how can we best protect our children? You know, I think, uh, you know, we're, we, we are starting to see there, there were some kids that were diagnosed with monkeypox. And I think, you know, as you know, I'm not a parent, but I have nieces and nephews. I think it's important to, you know, educate uh, our children about, you know, intimate contact with potential with people that they don't know, which we do already. Um, but I think at a, at, a, at a higher level, we don't need to be concerned about our children getting monkeypox on a day to day uh, basis. All right, Dr. Robert Pitts, great to have you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Coming up, new details after Equifax sent millions of lenders inaccurate credit scores. Rebecca Jarvis has what you need to know when we come back. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.